Do you remember how we did that one? Brandon Marazzo's test prepping with the tutor has built up his confidence for the math section of the new SAT on March 5th. I like it a lot better than the uh, old SAT, to be honest. And the, I find it easier. But Brandon's tutor says other high school juniors will need more than confidence for this college admissions exam. A lot of students are going to have trouble with the non-calculator math part. The College Board has changed the SAT for the first time since 2005. It says it redesigned the SAT to better reflect what New Jersey students are already learning in class and to focus on the few things that matter most for college and career readiness. But others say it's basing the SAT more on common core learning and less on tricks in acing prep testing. I would say from a structural perspective, it is becoming a lot more similar to the ACT. Another difference, the essay section, required in the old test, optional in the new. The old gave testers 25 minutes, the new doubles that. The old required writing a persuasive argument, the new one requires an analytical approach. Here at Montville High School, some students are opting not to take the new SAT because it's too much of a gamble of their academic future. For me to only take the SAT and to send it to a college, they're not going to have the national curves all figured out yet. And they may not know, you know, they'll have a relative idea, but they may not know specifically what's a good score, what's a bad score. Because I feel like it's kind of pointless at this point because I did do well on the old SAT. Classmate Evan Chan is taking both the ACT and the new SAT without spending hours of preparing for either. I'm not really worried about it too much because it's just a test. One high school is recommending the ACT only because of the new SAT's unknowns. We just figured it made sense to give the students, college board, colleges, the parents some time to look at the data. And then you have a, a lot of, you know, kind of other, you know, test prep providers, um, you know, kind of preying on some of that anxiety. Jessica Bush says her tutor doctor of New Jersey takes the stress out through diagnostic testing. It, it's a little mini ACT and a little mini SAT and it's questions from both and we score it and we can assess which test is better for them. So you're helping them to avoid the pitfalls. The pitfalls as well as the stress of taking both tests. Leslie Sheckman says she's advised students to take the test they think is best for them based on research for college and careers and peace of mind. Just breathe, 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 meditate, do yoga, do whatever you have to do, but know that you are not your test score and you are not your GPA. In Montville, Michael Hill, NJTV News.